Hello, in this video we are looking at return on investment. So let's read the problem and then we'll explain really what we're doing here. So you bought 199 shares of a stock and you paid $83 for each of those shares. You also had to pay to buy them, that's the discount brokerage fee. So to get access to those stocks you had to pay a fee. We want to know what is the return on investment if the current stock price is $86.11 per share, so it's gone up. And you got dividends equal to $4 per share, so they're paying you $4 for every share you own. So the idea is your stock has gone up, in this case from $83 to $86.11. You've also been paid $4 for each of the 199 shares that you have. So how much of a gain is that as a percent? That's what the return on investment is. As a percent of what you spent, how much did you gain? And we we can write a ratio. We can say we're looking at the profit on the stock. So how much has it gone up? And profit on stock is really the sum of capital gains and dividends. Capital gains is how much the stock has gone up in value plus dividends is an amount you're getting paid for every share of stock that you own. So it's the profit of the stock, but it's a percent, so it's out of how much you paid for the stock. So um, you could say that's a combination of the purchase price, purchase price, plus any commissions you're looking at or other fees associated with getting the stock. So this is these are the gains and dividends are up here. It's that gives us a profit. And I'm actually I'm going to write it this way. And the profit on the stock is kind of out of the expenses associated with the stock. How much did you have to pay to get that stock, basically? And that's the sum of the purchase price and commission. Now that's a ratio, and you're basically done at that point. But you want to write this as a percent. So that's attached. So uh, you're going to take this ratio and multiply that by 100, and then I'll give you the percent. This is the, this is the return on your investment. So this is the ROI. So we'll say it's profit, simplify our formula, over expenses times 100. So let's find out that information. The profit, we want to find out what happened here. So it went up $3 per share. 199 times, and that's our capital gain. How do I know that? Well, we have $86.11. That is the value per share. We have 199 of them, minus $83.11, 199 times. That was the original capital value. And if we subtract these two, we find the capital gain. So you could factor out 199. In other words, you can just do 8611 minus 8311 first, and, and then multiply that value by 199. Or you could do 8611 times 199 minus 8311 times 199. Do whatever works for you. I'm going to clear this off and put $86.11 minus 83.11, and of course that's 3 times 199. So it's $597, that's our capital gain. And then we also want to include the dividends. So it's $597 plus, what did we get? Let's see, $4 per share. So $4 for each of the 199 shares. We'll put that together to find essentially our total profit. So it's $597 plus 4 times 199. 1393. Let's enter that in. So 1393. This is our profit right here. Now we want to find our expenses. So we had to buy this stock and that would have cost us money. So in this case it was $83.11 times 199 shares plus that brokerage fee of $48 here. So plus $48, and this will be our total expense. So let's figure that out. 8311 times 197, no, 199 shares 
plus $48 is $16,586.89. Let me take a screenshot in case I forget that. <laughs> so this is all the money we spent to get this stock. So I'll write that out. Okay, that's a, um, I'll just size it down. 16586, whoa, 0.89. And that is our expense. So we have a profit, but we had to spend some money to get it. So it's going to be a ratio of those two. It's going to be 1393. I have this number in here already. Okay, hit enter, and then divide by this number here, and then times that by 100, and we get 8.39 or 8.4%. So we are we're gaining 8.4% on our original investment here, and that's growing. So, you know, if the words I'm using here, maybe it's not accurate to call this an expense, but it's essentially the money you had to spend to get the stock. And then all the capital gains and dividends are what you've gotten since you bought it. And what we do is we write them as a ratio and multiply it by 100, and that will give us our answer as a percent. So in this case, I would just enter that number 8.40 or 8.4 percent. I'll put it this way, 8.4 percent. All right, I hope that helped.